So let's face it, the Canon EOS M system was designed for the munchkins from Wizard of Oz to be carried around in Hello Kitty bags. It's not a serious system. It can get you by if you lost your phone. You can get some results, but it's not like a professional system. It could be if they just tried, but will they? That's what today's video is about. Do they have a future should you invest in it? All I want is the perfect camera All I want is the perfect camera Today we're filming on the Fuji X-T4 with a 12mm Tony 2 with a black pro mist filter I don't know what it does, it softens it It's supposed to make light look different Does the sun look different? So the Canon M system, there's not much to desire. It's not very tempting, like, oh man, I wish my camera could do that. <laughs> there's like nothing there, only it's very light and the lenses are very light, but they're so slow, the glass. I had the M50. Thank you so much, Ian Corzai, everybody's favorite YouTube lawyer. Go subscribe. He sent me a sweet package with the M50 and a couple lenses, the 22 mil Tony 2, and the Sony a6300 with a couple, like a real nice Zeiss full frame 35mm lens. And so I was using it after a while. And I just got my 15mm Leica f1.7 for Tony. Oh god. That Leica on the G85 was magic. And as soon as I got that, I was like, when would I ever use this Canon M50? I had the GH5S for the studio and G85 for the vlogs. I was like, that's so cinematic. I compared them. In the studio, the M50 was so noisy because their lenses are all like F4. Like, fastest lenses, F2.5. That's a lot. But every video I made, the ISO would just jack up to like 10,000 and it was just a terrible image. I didn't like it. So I had a friend, a YouTuber, bigger than my other channel, and she was like, filming on this Panasonic camcorder for the longest time and she was asking me about camera tips like what should I buy and I was like you know what do the right thing give her this camera I could have sold it to her but I was like no do it pass it on pay it forward and I did and then her channel got taken down she made a couple videos didn't even use the camera she was using that same ass camcorder and I was like what the hell happened I got no joy out of that gift how dare so thank you Ian Corzine for the gift. I really did appreciate it. I just figured I don't want a bunch of cameras. I don't want clutter around and the G85 was better. I just couldn't see a scenario using this camera. And that just brings us to the fact that they don't make any new lenses ever. But Sigma saved their ass. Those weren't out when I had the M50. If I knew that, just put the 30 mil 21.4 Sigma on your Canon M50 or M6 Mark II, you have a glorious image with perfect autofocus. The colors were decent enough. Why did I give that away? I'll give it back. Give it back. But I tell you, as of right now, Canon's not putting any effort into making new lenses, and all their lenses basically suck. The 22 F2 was okay, but no stabilization. You'd think their best wide lens was the 11 to 22. Worst stabilization I've ever seen. They make lenses that have stabilization that end up being worse than zero stabe. And that's the 11 to 22. It looks terrible. I don't know how they do it. Same with the Sony 10 to 18. It's like, what a garbage lens. There's a squirrel. It's just waiting for me. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Do you want to be a black bro mist squirrel? In slow motion. every camera I own for a Canon M6 Mark II with the Sigma 30mm f1.4 and 16mm f1.4 and just have like an improvement 
in image quality? Probably. Probably. It's a fantastic little system. Because Sigma saved their ass. But just as Canon tries to kill us, I just, I can't trust them. EOS HD guy, Andrew, don't quote him on this, but he's been testing the internals. I don't know how accurate it is, but he has an app that measures the temperature and it just seems so fishy. Like Canon, it doesn't overheat. It just cuts you off. It's a Canon cripple hammer move to protect their EOS cinema line. And that, like, that's what we thought it would be. And that the Canon cripple hammer can't die. We've tried to kill it. You have to burn it in the fires of Helm's Deep. So knowing that Canon hates you and wants you to buy a $10,000 machine just to make YouTube scrub videos, how can we trust them in the future? And that whole mount, when was the last time they made a lens? It's been a couple years, I think. And it wasn't very good. It was at 35 mil, Tony 1.4, and it focus jumped. Skippy, skippy jump, focus. I think they had a boardroom meeting on why they hate us so much. All right, fellas, it's time to ruin some lives. I hate our customers so much. We should just anger them with something. How could we piss them off? Shouldn't we just try to make a good camera and sell it to them? And then they'll buy it and share it with their friends and their friends will buy it. What do you think of that? You don't get it, Tom. It's like girls in fourth grade. You treat them like shit. Then they come back and they want more for some reason. That's how you get women. Boss, I don't think that ever worked. And it certainly won't work with the cameras. You gotta be nice. You win more flies with honey than you do with salt water. And poo flies like poo, Tom. You're lying to yourself and me. You're fired hard. I deserve that. Just like I deserve to spend Christmas alone. Still, I try. I get up every morning, I make a sandwich for my wife who left me. She never comes to get it. There's a lot of moldy sandwiches on my doorstep. And it hurts. But that doesn't mean I won't stop trying to make the perfect camera. You're right, Tom. I've been foolish. I've ignored what our customers have been asking for. Let's make the perfect camera. Let's make an EOS M system. 4-bit. 1080p. 30p. Let's do it. Sir, our EOS M camera already does better than that. Might want to up our game. We don't have to. No, we don't. Honestly, if they come out with the M50 Mark II and it has IBIS and no crop in 4K and actually they try, they'll cripple something. We all know that. But for the most part, that's a decent camera. 1080p, 120p, okay. All downgrade from the 240 glory horror we have here. But I just don't trust Canon in general, even though seeing the Maddie Haponi boys side-by-side -side video with the A7S III and the R5, I liked the R5 more. They have a better image, better colors, better IBIS. Like, for everything I need, that's probably the better camera. Just film in the down-sampled line skippy mode that sailors throw up on when they're seasick. We'll see, Camera Canada is getting me a Sony a7S III to test. So we'll see, is it amazing? Or will we have to wait for the Canon R7 when the Cripple Hammer's Revenge unites us? Was that what this video was about? <laughs> the EOS M system. To me, it's a joke system. It's just not very good. The features aren't very packed, and the lenses are terrible, and I don't know that they're... They're working all on the RF glass. Will they ever come out with an APS-C for that? I don't think they should. I don't like the whole double mount thing. They don't translate. It's not, oh, you're future-proof. You can use any lens on both. No, you can't. You can't use it, the APS-C glass on full frame. And then your full frame glass is too heavy and expensive to use on your APS-C. What a bunch of bullshit. What are those kids doing in the background? I just don't know about that Canon. They're simple to use, but they lack features. Their image looks pretty nice, pleasing to the skin. Teenage girl skin, they work on it. They're the only company that really does it. Maybe Black Magic, but then all their features, they don't even know how to make a working camera. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. To me, Canon's biggest fault is the asset that everybody's praising them for, which is lenses. Everybody's like, oh, Canon lenses are the best. No. The RF glass, too heavy, too fast. Too expensive, too stupid. The M glass, too slow and light and cheap feeling. Weird shit, like having to unlock your kit zoom. When will a company make a video-centric line like Blackmagic? but like actually usable. When will it happen? 
It's not going to be Canon EOS M, that's for sure. I just, I can't say, oh, invest in that system, you'll be great. Future years are golden. I don't think so, buddy. How's the black Pro Mist filter handling the sunlight? Is it useful? It's a hundred dollars. I think I might return it. I'm gonna return it hard. Unless the sun looks magical right now. Does it? Yes, M sucks. Just too many cripple ponies in that system. I don't see a future for it. We'll see. We'll see what the M50 Mark II is. Or their flagship. What is their flagship of that whole system? It doesn't even... Still the M50 seems better than the M62 in a lot of ways. Not really. It's worse in every way. But I wouldn't buy either. <laughs> what was that? 2.4? The whole episode. We're at 2 now. I think it's just too soft, this black pro mist thing. If we stop it down... I want to make a comment about him playing basketball on the grass, but he looked big, so don't risk it. Don't risk it, man. 24. There's a bird laughs at me. So, this video was pointless. I rambled too much and gave no useful information. But thank you for watching it, thumbing it up, buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. What do you think? Canon M system dead? It might even be dead. They might not even make it. I actually, there are rumors that they're coming with stuff. No lenses though. Actually, there is a rumor for that. I'm gonna leave before I get stupid. Of the new microphone. Oh, oh, no, doesn't exist. Subscribe for more videos.